Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a lens set uh, time series and how to export the time series as a GF animation. And uh, you can also add animated text labels and progress bars to uh, the animation. Okay, let's get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GE Map Python package. If you have not installed this before, you can follow my previous tutorials on how to install the package. And after that, you can click here to download the repo as a zip file because we're going to use the example here, uh, notebooks number 18. So once you uh, download this one to a computer and then just get into this folder, then you can use Jupyter Notebook to open uh, it on your browser, okay? So let me get here, uh, Gmap and then examples, notebooks, number 18. <clears throat> and this is the example, but uh, keep that in mind, essentially you only need one line of code. Yeah, these below are optional. I just show you this like shortcut, but uh, these lines below show you exactly how that shortcut was uh, uh, made of. So this one line of code do everything uh, below in here. And if you don't want to go into detail, you just need this one line. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to import the package. So you just hit run. And um, if you install this package before, you will need to update the latest one. So you can use control uh, slash on your computer to uncomment this one and then you execute. After execute, then just click uh, kernel, restart, because you need to restart the kernel to uh, take effect, okay? So just in case that you run into any error uh, errors when you run the example. So next, uh, we can create the interactive map, okay? So once we have the map, uh, it's actually very simple. All we need to do just to here, use a rectangle or we can use a polygon. So for example, you can use the rectangle tool to draw any rectangle anywhere for any location, and then it will create the animations for you. So in this example, I'm going to use uh, Las Vegas as the example. So if I zoom in, you can uh, create any one in here. If you don't like it, you can uh, select another one. So let me do it in here. Let me select a larger one. So this is the, for example, this is the area I wanted. And automatically the, um, uh, the source code, we get the last one. So basically we get the last uh, polygon that you draw. So if you like, for example, I can show you exactly what it looks like. So let me do it below. So all we need to do is map uh, dot draw um, last feature. So if you hit this one, and this is actually a feature, it's the last polygon. So whatever you draw last one, uh, you, you will be stored in this variable. And then you can pass this one into an ROI. So for example, ROI equal to um, this one. And then later you can pass that ROI into here. Uh, but if you use this function by default, you automatically get the last one. So you don't have to pass in. And let's look at this line of code. So the label in here, the label means when we create the animation, I want to show the animation here, the labels, for example, a location, uh, or anything you would like to show, a title or anything. Um, you just later, it, it's more convenient because otherwise people might not know uh, where this uh, animation is located. So if you like, you can hit Control, uh, uh, F Shift tab on your uh, keyboard to bring up the uh, description for each variable. You will see here, there's a lot of variable you can customize. So for example, the layer name, the first one here, the layer name is after the animation is created, it can be added to this map in here. So the layer control is where the layer name you want to show it in here. So by default, it's called time lapse. Uh, you can change it if you like. RI, for example, RI, you can pass an RI, you can, or you can define a polygon, define a rectangle, whatever you want, or you can just draw a rectangle. So the last rectangle uh, will be passed into the RI, and the label is the what you want to put on the animation, the start year and end year. So this is for the lens set imagery. So the first lens set 
um, uh, four and five starting in 1984. And the last one that we have a complete year is 2019. You can certainly put 2020 if you want. So you can also here set the date, right? You uh, from, for example, June 10th to September 20th. So during the summer season, but you can put January 1st and then December 31st if we work uh, fine as well. So it depends on what you want for the imagery. If you just want the summer imagery, then you can customize the date. Uh, in here, I don't customize anything. So I just always use the default. For the bands, you can use whatever um, spectral band available in the landscape imagery. By default, it's going to use the near infrared, uh, red and green, but you can customize uh, whatever you want. So if you want to see the detail, you can see it from here, <clears throat> the bands. Three bands selected from blue, green, red, uh, near infrared, and then with infrared and uh, one and two, and also the pixel quality band. So those are the bands available. All we need to just uh, put it into a list. And then you can uh, visual, uh, visualization parameters is where you want uh, the GF to show. So you can customize those uh, parameters. For example, the minimum, the maximum, something like that. And the dimension is how big of the imagery, uh, the, G, the animation, because um, it has a size limit. So you cannot put it like really big because uh, Google uh, won't allow you to uh, do that. So the next one is uh, frames per second. So this one means uh, how many uh, frames you want to display per second. So if you put 10, that means each, each frame is like 0.1 second. In here, because we have 35 years, so uh, if you put frames per second equal to 10, that means your entire animation is roughly about 3.5 minutes, uh, 3.5 seconds, because each second you have 10 years, right? And uh, you can, if you change this to a larger value, for example, 1,000, that means every year is going to delay for uh, display for one second and then go to the next one. So the larger, the slower, uh, the smaller, the faster of the animation. And then the phone size, right? Uh, the label you want to show. I later want to show you. Let me just execute first, and then the, uh, because it might take a couple minutes uh, to actually to display uh, because it's going to generate a link, and then automatically download the link, the uh, animation from the link, and then to add all the animated text to the imagery, and then to show it on the um, on the map. So lastly, let me show you a few more parameters in here. Uh, let me see a shift tab. Okay, it's running, so it's not working now. And so the color, you can also customize the color. Also, there's one called uh, progress bar color because we have a uh, animation. So if 35 years, you, I, I, uh, I, I want to show the progress bar. For example, each one when it's showing what what year uh, and then from the beginning to the end so you can customize that one uh, if you want so this is uh, how you can quickly add uh, an animation to um, to the map so you will see here okay it's finished downloading and let me open the this one in here okay so uh, now we have it okay so if you see from here <laughs> uh, this is the animation the uh, the label so to the year which year and this is animation for the label, for the title, or location, or place name. Uh, all this you can customize. So this is just the default settings. If you want to customize, you can use the more uh, the examples below. So this one shows you how you can customize the location, the text color, uh, pretty much everything. So you see here, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I can just uncheck this one. Okay, and uncheck this. Right? So if it shows you, you can zoom in and zoom out. So if you if you uh, draw a rectangle for a large area, the imagery, uh, the animation is going to be very uh, low quality because um, this is not the source imagery, just the animation to show you some uh, information. You can also see the progress bar here, right, from the beginning to the end, and then it goes back to the beginning. So this is one quick way you can create lens set time lapse for any location um, as long as it's covered by the lens set uh, so it's around the globe anywhere you like and okay so that's for the first example if you want to have uh, to customize to 
the text, the color, everything, then you can follow this example. So I'm going to quickly go through here, um, import the packages, and then create the map. So later in here, for example, ROI, like I mentioned earlier, you can define the ROI of the polygon, or you can just draw a rectangle. So either, um, either one is fine. So in here, I'm going to just use the ROI, and then you can use this function called G, the uh, length set time series. So the length set time series, uh, this one create an image collection. So this one is Earth ending data. So you pass in the variable, uh, the ROI and the start year, end year, uh, like we mentioned earlier, right? The start date and the end date. And this one create an image collection. And this one is not like a GIF yet. So image collection, if you want to know how many images in there, you can call the function size.getInfo. Then you will get uh, how many images in there. So 35. If you change this one to 84, you're going to have 36. Okay, because the first image has some uh, holes in there. So I don't use the first one. Then you can customize, for example, for those uh, 35 images. If you want just want to take a look at, for example, the first image, then you just call the collection doc first, and then you set the visualization parameters, and then you just add that one to the layer, uh, to the map. So if you see from here, now we have this. This is not animation. This is the real uh, Earth engine image and uh, near infrared uh, first color composite. So if you see from here, right, you can check on. You can use, use the inspectors in here to get the values if you want. So for each pixel in here, right, each band, you're going to get a, a value. So this is multi-spectral band in here. And this is just one image. You have 35 uh, for the entire image collection. Next, uh, let's uh, download this image collection as an animation. So all we need to do here is you, you need to define the parameters you want. For example, dimension is the, the width and height of the animation. And you pass in the ROI, how many frames per second, uh, 10 frames per second. So each year it's going to display for 0.1 second. And which band you want, uh, the minimum, maximum. And so these are all regular Earth engine uh, visualization parameters. Then you say where you want to save the output. Okay, so the output is going to be length set ts.gf. And then all you need to do is just call the function, download. Uh, EE video. So you're passing the image collection and how you want to visualize that. Then you uh, generate the output. Okay, so it's you can create this one in here and it might take a couple of seconds. Let me pause the video and then come back later. Okay, so it's it's done. It's finished. Download it. So if you want to see, for example, if you go back to the lens set, uh, my folder downloads, lens set TF. Okay, so this is the one that just downloaded. Okay, if you see from here, um, right, it's animated, but there's no text, there's no label, there's no progress bar yet. All we need to do, uh, so let me show you the animated, right, uh, it's the same as the one I show you. Then you can call the function called add text to GF, right, and this we pass in uh, the, the output. Uh, this input, right? This is the animation we want to input, and we set the output to the other name. Then you set the location where you want to put uh, the year 1985 all the way to 2009 to 2019, and the size, the color. Uh, this one is white color. You can pass in any color you want. And for the first one, I don't add the progress bar yet. So let's take a look, and it's done. So the next one in here, I want to. If you want to see it, you can actually see it in here. So download. Let me just show you uh, text. So this is the one that just executed. So now we have this one with the year added to the animation. So next, I'm going to add a label and add a progress bar. And then we will be done. So the next one here, I'm going to add the label. And similarly, you can put the sequence right now is the label and the phone size. So for this one, I, I want to add a progress bar and the color change to a cyan. So let's execute and then display the imagery. Okay, so now you have it. This is our final product. Uh, you have the year, you have the label, you can put it at any location, you can customize the XY, you can change the color of the progress bar, you can also change the 
uh, height uh, if you want. So this is the, the step by step how this one uh, the, in the first example here, how this one was created. Okay, so this is basically a shortcut to everything I show you in here in this uh, separate example. So if you want more customization, then you can follow this um, detailed example. Just to show you quickly, uh, recap what we did. So you need to customize the to get the area of interest, and then you can use the, the length set time series function to create an image collection. After you create the image collection, then you download that one as an ani uh, animation. And after that, you can add text, you can add uh, labels, you can add progress bar to the animation. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.